Good morning. Today we're going to do a day in the life of a free range sailor. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Already this morning we had, um, we were woke up inside a cloud, which was really <laughs> cool. Um, normally Troy gets up around 6.30 and I normally wake up at 6.30 but I lie in bed for like pretty much an hour, which is what I did this morning. I lay in bed for an hour and I just watch the cloud coming across the hatch. Um, and then I got up and wiped down the boat because we had a lot of condensation on the boat from the cloud. <laughs> some, some people might call it mist or fog. Or fog, but I like to call it a cloud. <laughs> Welcome to Free Range Sailing. Join us as we sail around Australia, visiting its wild places in our 30-foot, 50-year-old sailing boat, Maroo. Living off the land and sea while sailing a yacht that costs less than a new car, we show that it's possible to have big adventures with a seaworthy boat on a very modest budget. Troy's already had his first coffee. Um, I haven't had my coffee yet, so I'm like, I need my coffee. We call that coffee entree. Coffee entree for, we don't, we don't always have breakfast. Like we probably won't have breakfast today because we haven't been very active lately. If we've been busy like diving and doing lots of things, we'll have breakfast. Um, and Troy is working on the ship's, ship's log. log. So yeah, in the morning, um, unless we're obviously have to get going and sail somewhere, we normally have coffee and do some work. So that's what we're going to do this morning. And then we'll see what else we get up to for the rest of the day. But we do plan on going for a sail later this afternoon. So, yep. Coffee time. Another part of uh, a day in the life of free range sailing is obviously making the videos. Um, this is the primary computer we use. I've also got another one there that sometimes when I'm editing I'll do it. I've got this little computer that I do interneting stuff, so we're probably a bit overcomputed. But um, what I wanted to point out is when we're editing um, free range sailing, our energy requirements has just poof, gone through the roof, yep. hasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, before free range sailing, this boat used to run on 30 amp hours a day. Okay, that ran the fridge, lights, everything, radio, whatever. Now we can chew that up in just a few hours. When when this thing starts uh, making videos, it can it can pull 10 amps. Yeah, it's um, insane. <laughs> 10 amps, you know, like hour on hour. So that 30 amp hours can be done. Just like that. But also, because we've got this big, fast computer, we get the editing done a lot quicker than we used to. So we have more time to have adventures and do stuff, which we'll get onto later today. <laughs> later today. Yeah. And and we can make a quality video. Yeah. So that's that's something to, to just think about. If people wanted to document their travels, um, it, it's if you want to do a good job of making videos, it's actually very energy intensive. And that's why we had to upgrade. You know, we had to spend quite a bit of money on upgrading our um, solar. Our solar. And that's purely so we can charge cameras, run uh, run computers, computers, and all of that stuff like that. Yeah. So it's it's a bit of a, a hidden cost. And on a thirty footer, it's a lot of extra weight. An extra space. <laughs> An extra space. Yeah. So it, it's actually hard to run just a computer. Some people say, why don't you have an electric engine, which is a few kilowatts? Even running this is a big deal on a thirty footer if you don't want to have a generator. Hmm.
So that was our morning pretty much. We've spent it editing um, and we're going to go uh, for a big long beach walk and maybe a little bit of a hunt. We're going to go check out a creek or a kind of swampy area behind the beach this afternoon on the sup. But first we're going to have some lunch. I'm going to heat up leftovers from last night. We had Last night we had vegetable masama. To do anything on our boat, we've got to pack everything up first, don't we, Troy? <laughs> like these beasts of computers. But if we had a um, bigger boat, we'd probably have a nav station and one of the computers would be able to stay there, packed, like, shut down, but not having to put it away in a bag every day. Yeah, we would, I would, um, I would, I would strap a computer to a fixed spot. I see we're having my favourite breakfast, leftovers. Yeah. Lunch, <laughs> but yeah, it's your favourite anything. Brunch? Le leftovers. Oh, it's proper lunch, it's half past twelve. Yeah, I know, so I was saying we've been editing like all morning, oh, so wow. we're gonna go out and do something. Yeah, well, I always sort of meant to do this because the wind wasn't meant to show up until about now. Yeah. Um, and also it's a slack tide. It's slack high tide, so we can finish this and go in Straight and go for a walk up. on the beach if you want. That was the plan, yeah. Okay, so we're going to turn the engine on and go a bit closer ashore so we don't have to paddle as far. Because <laughs> we're slack. No, because we can. The tide's come up now. Still five metres. It'll change soon. Coming up. As they see that colour change, you want to be sort of ready to turn. Really shallow just to get it out of there. So we're in four now. I guess it doesn't matter, we can just anchor in four. Yeah. Should I just turn around? Hang on, what's the same? 3.7. I just turn. Turn that way. Oh. Look at this now. Three. Two point seven. Give us a look. Two point five. Two point four at the back end. No. You want me to go to the anchor? Yeah, but if we drop the if we if we drop the actual pick here. We're gonna hang back and that's why I wanted to drive in and have a look. Okay. Yeah, so throw the prusik on there. You're so crazy. I'm a crazy person. So what we did here, Pasky, is it's 2.9 now on the tide curve, all right? So we've anchored in, what, 1.8 metres? Yep. All right, so 1.8 metres difference, if we look, will be, what, 1.1, and that's at, at, like, about half past five. That's near the bottom of the tide, huh? Yeah, so we're going to get out of here at, let's say, 4 o'clock. That'll be 1.5 metres difference. What's the difference between 1.5 and 2.9? 1.4. Oh, you're a genius. <laughs> yeah, so 
We've, we've got plenty, you know what I mean? Yep. We've got 40 centimetres under the keel by the time it's ready to go. <laughs> Is that <laughs> enough? <laughs> I think it should be right. All right. And the water is like a swimming pool. It is like a swimming pool. So let's go and um, let's go have some fun. Yeah. We found the creek pretty easily, didn't we? Yeah, we just walked inland. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks fresh. I think I'm gonna go for a swim. Ooh. This is cool. Pretty ready to spend a night here now, are you? <laughs> it's so close to the beach, it's crazy. We'll go and see where it comes out further down. I like the little. Yeah. <laughs> it's flowing it's quite, it's quite fast, actually. It's flowing that way. Huh? It's flowing that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flying to the sea. Yeah. I like to think that this barnacle may have once been attached to a whale's flipper. We just set anchor. Um, as the sun was setting, we're here at Moon Point and we moved here because we're expecting northerlies today or tomorrow. So we thought we'd scoot down here. There are a few other boats around, but that's okay. Um, we're pretty hungry. We've been snacking on nuts and fruit to get here. So I'm gonna cook us up some dinner. Maybe even Troy will help me. Actually, he's doing the dishes, which is pretty legendary. So he might be off duty for helping me cook dinner. <laughs> this guy's hard at work. So we're having potato rusties for dinner tonight with smoked trout and a nice salad on top. What is going on here? <laughs> Part of our land land treats was um, a bit of smoked trout. So I've just taken the skin off it and it was so delicious I can't imagine anything not wanting to eat it. So 
They're not going to eat the skin, but I am going to put a hook in it. And I'm going to throw it overboard. What do you think? See how we go. It's, it's worth doing, isn't it? Yep. I flip him, but I use a plate. Hopefully I don't melt the plate. You won't melt the plate. Okay. Ew, look at that. That's so crispy. It's gonna be yummy. Oh, I grated my fingernail as well when I grated my thumb. Mmm, bonus. I just did a bad thing. I burnt my baby. The old flip the rosti and pour hot oil out of the pan onto an ankle trick. Mm. <laughs> hot gay. Who would have thought it would burn so well? Me. <laughs> Should have been more careful. Too late now. Bon appétit, mon chéri. Merci beaucoup. So what is it now? I hope it's not too cold. It's a potato pancake with a smoked trout salad. Mm. Is it good? It's delicious. <laughs> Who's that comedy? I was like, that guy's smart. He always says it's delicious. <laughs> Get that camera out of my food. It's movie night, why aren't we having popcorn? I think I made myself allergic to popcorn. It's sad, so what do you have instead? Nothing. But you're drinking something now, we always have this in Turmeric latte, but it's not really a... Replacement? No. It doesn't mean we hold hands or take windy walks. What it really means is, I try to keep him out of as much trouble as he inflicts on me. I give him a hard time, keeps him in check. But really, he's like my brother. Ready for ready for noise? Yep. Ready for bum crack? Ready for bum crack. <laughs> <laughs> Camera? This help? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us for a day in the life this week. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to click the thumbs up button and to subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to grab a free range sailing t-shirt or hoodie, they are available for a limited time only by clicking the link on the screen or in the description of this video.